we're back. What's up, everybody? Binge and well done. Coming at you live on this beautiful corona-free night. I haven't really said that before. It's always a beautiful corona-free day. Well, I didn't say that proud of corona, but whatever. What's up, everybody? Binge and well done. Coming at you live on this beautiful corona-free night. Today is Tuesday, Tuesday, September the 21st at 9 o'clock at night. How are you doing? So, freedom. I got my car back. Woo! <laughs> oh, you know what? It's such a it's it's such a strange thing. I you know, I mentioned in my last video the dependence that I have, and I'm sure many individuals have with their car. If you have public transportation, it doesn't really matter because you can get anywhere you want really. Um, and what I mean like is to like a high degree. A high degree of public transportation that's reliable, multiple ways, fast, in and out, you know, like a big city, New York, you name it, whatever. Um, and it's funny because I haven't had my car for literally six months for so long because there's this national uh, like part shortage and everything, right? So um, while my wife was getting her car fixed, my car, I've been taking Uber to get to everywhere and it's expensive, but there's a lot of stuff I haven't been doing, but today is day one. I got it back last night. So today is the first day of fully having it. But uh, anyway, so I'm, I'm extremely thankful. And it's so weird and, and like interesting because I'm so used to not having my car last like six months. I got to tell myself if I want to go to the grocery store, I don't have to do it at eight o'clock at night when my wife gets off work because she works late. She, you know, she drives like a crazy distance. Uh, that's a whole other story. Not going to get into it. Um, she used to work remotely, but anyway, not getting into it. Rules, rules change. But anyway, um, but uh, yeah. So now I gotta like, now I gotta tell myself not just what I can do, but I can make plans, and I do have more independence, and I can do things, and I'm just, uh, I'm so thankful. It's just, it's just such a great way to process your thoughts, get from place A to point, uh, from point A to point B, place to place, and in addition to that, just meditate. Seriously, drive without the music. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Drive without music, just cruise around and just see how your thoughts like evolve. You know, your subconscious starts speaking louder, you start solving problems, you start thinking of things deeper, you know what I mean? And in a weird way, I feel like driving, like it still keeps you active because you're still doing something, but you're not really focusing on what you're hearing in the background because there's nothing on. Not to mention when something is on, it's always great when you're pumping and jamming and, you know, and you got a, uh, you got a cool song on. So I had a video pulled down, by the way, I guess you're not supposed to have like the radio on and some sort of music or whatever in the background when, uh, when you're not the artist of such song, you know? So anyway, but uh, yeah, it's just a quick shout out to the world. I'm back. I never go anywhere, but it's a weird thing. And I'm so thankful and on this great day, I was offered uh, two comedy shows to feature, which is basically means that I'm gonna be going right before the headliner. So the headliner should be doing like 45 minutes an hour or something like that, whatever. And um, uh, I'll be doing about like, like 15 to 20 minutes right about, so. Um, and it'll be two nights, the 12th of November and the uh, 13th of November. So what a great day. Today is seriously like the best day ever. And I'm going to make another day, another video, my next one called the best day ever. Why not? And the reason is because I'm not being too technical. I'm pulling them up to my house, you know, um, I'm pulling up to my house and I'm not going to get into it because that'll be a separate video, but essentially you know, every hour, minute, moment, etc. it's all relative. It's kind of dumb if, if one thing happens, it isn't great, and someone says that, you're, you know, it's ruined your day. Okay, maybe the moment, maybe not ruined, but you have so much, you have so much day left. You know how some days you just like to like, essentially, well, not you, but ideally somebody could, if they had something not so great happen on one day, or multiple things or whatever, excuse it. Um, they'll say, oh, looking forward to the next day. That way you can start fresh. Look, what if you were to compare that whole week? That prompt didn't go away. You see what I'm saying? If you think on a larger scale, 
it's sort of silly to give yourself an allotment of going all the way until the next day and have the rest of the day you're in be affected when in all reality it's just that singular moment you know think of how much more isolated people would say that ruined my minute that ruined my hour that ruined my my half minute that ruined my second you see what I mean on a more technical aspect I told get a little deep in it get, get a little deep in it but on a, on a more technical aspect it's it's a really not cool thing when someone says that ruined their day because it didn't happen all day long it happened just that moment now you get a general idea of what I'm saying but as far as uh, the relativity of a minute a second a moment etc matters greatly because you have so much rest of your day everything leading up to that moment and after it to uh, to have it be the best so I guess I did my second video in, in this video all in one. So what am I going to call it now? I wasn't going to call it freedom. Got my car back. Maybe I'll call it freedom slash the best day ever. That's a good one. That's what I'll do. So I'll call it freedom slash the best day ever. And uh, there's no reason that uh, regardless of whatever happened today, you couldn't still make that day the best. So love you all very much. I'm binge well done. Best day ever. Check me out. Peace.